So uh, get, getting back to methadone, after World War II, the U.S. got the research records, the patents. They brought the drug to the U.S. They changed the name to methadone. 1947, Eli Lilly introduced it as a painkiller. They called it dolophine. It's really fascinating what people, what the public will sometimes think, what, what, what happens in people's heads. There were a number of people in this country when they came out with this who were very upset with Eli Lilly. Because there was this guy in World War II called Adolf, and they saw this dolphin, Adolf, and they saw, th sort of thought that maybe they were playing on the name. Well, no, dolor is pain, fan is end, so it's end of pain. But what gets into people's heads? Yeah? 1949, they used methadone for detoxing people. They showed it was very effective, but there was a greater than 90% relapse rate. Remember this statistic. Remember 1949 and remember greater than 90% relapse rate with methadone when used for detox. Remember that one. 1950s, dramatic increase in heroin addiction reached epidemic levels in New York City in the 50s, 60s, and 70s. I went to college and med school in New York City in the 60s and early 70s. And there was um, Needle Park. There was a movie about it. Needle Park. Amsterdam and Broadway came together at 70th Street, and there's a park there. And there were needles all over the place. They had, the addicts would just be leaving their needles. It was literally Needle Park. Epidemic, out in the open. 1964, they developed methadone maintenance treatment that was first used to treat addiction at Rockefeller University. Dole and Nyswander, huge names in the field. 72, the FDA approved the use of methadone to treat opiate addiction. In 2001, MMT, methadone maintenance treatment, it shifted control from the FDA to the Substance Abuse Mental Health Services Administration, SAMHSA. I'll be referencing SAMHSA several times with articles and um, graphs and things like that from SAMHSA. You got a pamphlet that, I'm, that I gave you that's from SAMHSA. Um, and they're responsible now for accrediting treatment programs and treatment standards. Is a synthetic opioid. I'm going to define in a little bit what do I mean by synthetic, and I'm going to define the word opioid. A lot of people don't know the word opioid. They think opiate. I'll define that and tell you what the difference is. Methadone can be used as a detox agent. We saw that before to help somebody get through the acute withdrawal from heroin or other opioids. Can be used for maintenance therapy to treat addiction reduces cravings, suppresses withdrawal symptoms, blocks the effects of administered heroin, can be used as an analgesic to treat chronic pain. There's more methadone prescriptions written in this country to treat chronic pain than there is to treat addiction. So very common. Long half-life, so you can give it just once a day. Can be dispensed only in licensed opioid treatment programs, methadone clinics, rather than in private offices. Uh, by law, I cannot prescribe methadone to treat addiction. It has to be done in a methadone clinic. And there are very strict regulations regarding dispensing frequency. You've got to be going there nine months every day, or at least six days a week, some places seven days a week, observe dosing nine months before they will give you a one-week take-home. So very strict regs.